Good morning. We ran out of water this morning. We gotta fill up the water. Uh, coming. Good morning, Layla. Okay, I'm here. Oh, my feet are cold. to do things one-handed on a boat. Actually, it's impossible. Sometimes you need more than one hand. It'd be nice to have like eight hands. Okay, filling up our water tanks. That way we can have breakfast. Today is another rainy day, it looks like, but it's warmer. I'm not wearing a jacket right now. It's a little chilly. A little nip in the air, but not, not bad. So, anyways, this is actually, yesterday was the last day of my 30 day run um, and I asked a lot of folks if I should continue to do an everyday vlog because I did have a lot of fun doing it and I got a lot of response so I think I will do an everyday vlog. Um, I'll be a little more relaxed with it this time. Uh, if, there's, if there's nothing going on that day, I just won't film so you might not get a video one day. Or if Pete and I get sick and tired of each other and don't feel like filming, then we won't d film either. <laughs> so that and maybe weekends, I might take off weekends just to uh, relax. Or if something does happen on the weekend, I'll film. So it'll be kind of more of a relaxed thing this time. Um, I'll continue to still film, obviously film what we're doing on Norna, some of the woodwork. A lot of folks are real interested in Pete's woodwork. And we're just kind of gearing up. We're gearing Norna up to take a sail this spring up to Maine or Nova Scotia. We're bringing her up north. I know Florida, the Bahamas are right here. Um, but we're doing that. Number one, Ava has school. And right during the hurricane season is when she gets off of school. And we can't take her out before then. We want to, but we can't. It's family matters. And so the only way to kind of circumvent that is to take Norna up north, which is going to be better for the boat anyway. Um, being that she's a wood boat, she does need to be in colder climates. Plus, you only live once. You might as well see some beautiful areas up to the north. Um, and I definitely want to see that. I'm not very good with cold weather. In fact, I hate cold weather. <laughs> I'm a Floridian. I'm not good with cold, but we'll be up there during the summer. It'll be a little chilly for me, but... You want to tough it out for me? I guess so. And then another thing we might do is, oh, I also want to do, take a trip on the bus as well. It would be very cool to do some land travel here in America. There's a lot of beautiful places to see and I, and I definitely want to see it. So that's also on the bucket list to do. Once we get Norna back in the water, we'll finish up a few things to get her ready to go north and then also start fixing up the bus to get that ready to do a bus trip. I'm cleaning up the boat real quick <clears throat> before work. <coughs> Ava's gonna have another sleepover. She's gonna have a friend over. I'm all done with work. I got off early. We got a couple little dilemmas going on. Pete called me and uh, the power steering pump went on his truck. That sucks. And I guess it's just all rusted away, like the whole reservoir or something, I don't know. So, that's gonna be an expensive one. I told Pete, I said, if it's too expensive, let's just sell your truck. Um, get a new one. Not a new one, but, you know. Started right up this time. Anyways, uh, oh, there's a bit. I gotta bring him a metric tape measure also, because he mentioned, I think I had a metric one in here, yeah, okay. Um, that the cutlass bearing that we got from Lewis doesn't fit. So now we're kind of like, what is going on? Shouldn't even go in there. Now if I get a two inch one, then I thought we could have this board out, you know, have this board out to two inches. And then just cut it off to the length. But two inches is way too much to take out of that, see? Yeah, it'll be like thin as. Yeah, inch and seven eighths would be okay. We could take out, but you can't get an inch and seven eighths. What? 
to do, what to do. We can epoxy it in there. Is that what you did last time? Is that what that uh, goo was? Maybe. But how is that? Is that good? Is the epoxy I'd gonna not. And the other thing is, see these shaft, this little groove, mm -hmm. how it's cut out where the water comes in, the water goes in, comes back, and then gets sucked through this thing that way. And uh, if that's the case, then you don't want it to be too long. It's got to be cut short so the water can get in there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but cutting is no big deal. It's just getting this to be right. So you're going to cut it? And then goo it in. What are you going to goo it with? There's some kind of orange epoxy they probably got next door. Some kind of epoxy that's made to hold these in. But what do you normally do when you do that? Usually it's a tight fit. you got to press it in. Or put it in the freezer, right? Well, yeah, this is so tight that you would put this in the freezer and then put it in there. And then once it, cool, once it warms up, it's tight. You can't even move it. But this, okay, so our problem that we're having is that this is metric and, this and is our shaft is regular. Yeah. And the other option is to maybe bore it, but the only sizes we have will bore the, the, sh the lining too far. Yeah. So we're just going to glue it in there. And that, it seems like that's what was in it before because there was something glued. Yeah, there was something in there. Do you remember gluing it? He doesn't remember. He, he did this last time, but it's been 10 years, so. Hmm. Pete's um, car is now inoperable because of the f the uh, power steering steering pump is dead. It's not the pump though; it's like the whole casing oh, it's and everything. The line. But the line is in the casing or something, right? Mm -hmm. Nah. See, this is why we like our Volkswagen bus. How do they look, Millen? Well, one had some termites, but the other ones. Are which one had termites? And, that, and they might go away as I mill it down. Gotta cut these that far over. I'm gonna hit the nails or wear, wear some fucking glasses when I cut this, because hit the nails of the table saw, that's gonna. How long is it gonna fuck it up? That's gonna. See, some of these we won't be able to get out. <coughs> Here's one bent over right here too. Two of them bent over. Can't use it. I still have to take off that much. So it might be okay. Yeah. <coughs> it's sappy. I got sap on my hands. The day has been kind of crazy. <laughs> Um, you can take a piece of rope and wrap that around there, tape. Yeah, you got some? Yeah. Let's tighten these down. What kind of, uh, what kind of epoxy, epoxy is it? Use system with that high density filler. Hmm. Some people say it's easier to clean up 5200 because you can heat it up and just it softens up and you can scrape it out. But I don't know. 5200 is awfully hard to clean up until, we, until you try to take it off again and it won't come off. Epoxy pops with heat too though. So either one. It's going to come off. Okay. It's got some scratches on it now. Yeah. 
So. And you know that thing's got scratches in yeah, it. Yeah, that's plenty of scratch stuff in that. Or bonding hardware, right? I can't read it. Yep. Do we have any mixing cups? That got hot out. Actually, the weather is beautiful right now. Phone's fucking up. Wanna just try again? I'm just gonna do two instead of one. That'll be good enough. The more you mix, the more uh, uh, ratio you have. If you mix a little, you gotta be exactly on. If you mix a lot, you can be off a little bit more. done. Cutting out termites. <laughs> Reclaimed lumber, you know. So when we went to um, Eco Relics, we got that wood, that, that heart pine that was actually um, Pete, you don't have your phone. Oh, okay. Um, and we're going to use that on the aft cabin to move the hatch to the middle. So that's kind of what we're doing is cutting it, planing it. You want to go over there and check? No, because here's a piece of the decking right here. Look at that. That's it? Yeah, look, it's got the bevel on it and everything. Oh, wow. That was lucky. That's heart pine, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a piece of it right there. So, we made it. Yeah, see, two and seven eighths, a little shy. And, oh, good. It's only an inch and five eighths. <laughs> That's one of our old planks. Try it then. We're all walking downtown, gonna check out the lights. This is probably the last week or so before they take the lights down. It's probably, uh, they're probably gonna start taking it down pretty soon. Circles. Shadow puppets, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 